All right, now we are going to expand our bear tracking app by working with a single record. So, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we are going to create a new bear location component. I'm going to copy this, flip our to, uh, to our VS code and create a new component. I'm going to right click here and new lightning web component. We're going to name it bear location. Enter that default location. Now, go to the HTML part. I'm going to copy, um, well, not the HTML yet. Let's copy the XML file. Okay. So I'm going to go to XML here, bear location XML. And did we copy the whole thing? X oh, just the is exposed part. Okay. So I'm going to copy that. So this, let's expose that. So ex ex is exposed is true. Target is only on the record page and the targets config. It's going to be only available for the bare object. So this is the bare custom object. Okay. I'm going to save that flip back here. So next uh, we are going to work with the uh, HTML, bare location HTML. I'm going to copy that and flip back here the HTML and let's just paste everything. So it's just a lightning card. Uh, this is the card title, the title and then the map. So a lightning map with the markers, uh, which is going to be passed from the bare location.js. When I save that, flip back here. Now let's copy the bear location.js. I'm going to copy that, flip back here. So go to bear location.js. I'm going to paste the whole thing there. Okay. Save. So this is the basic stuff. You've, you've been following uh, my LWC video modules. Um, so this is the import from LWC standard and then this is also to get the record and get the va uh, get the field value from the UI record API and then we define the const constant for the name field which is the bare object the name field the location latitude location land longitude uh, the bare object the location latitude field longitude field and then we define the bare fields um, array here, which is cons consists of name field, latitude, longitude. And then we have the bare location class extending lightning element. It's a API uh, wired there. Um, name is going to be the property. Uh, map makers is going to still be empty. And then we're going to wire that to get record uh, um, function or method okay and we're going to pass the record id and the fields which is bare fields this is the fields here okay and then we're going to load the data load bare if there is error display uh, do stuff here if not basically uh, the name variable for this component get the fa the, fa uh, the the field value from the name field, this is the uh, latitude field, longitude field, and put it in this variable. And then we're going to do the map makers, um, pass all these variables into the map makers. That's it. I'm going to save this guy. So if you want to dive in further on the line by line break uh, explanation, uh, please read through this. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. Now we are going to deploy our uh, bare location component into our trailhead playground. So deploy, don't delete, deploy that. And once it's deployed, it's going to be available when you grab it from the bare record. Okay. So to do that, let's go to the edit page. Um, on the playground, let's go to any bears here. 
any bears will do let's do all bears let's go to uh, Ted I like Ted Ted the bear so we're gonna edit this page and then add that lightning web component to the top right there all right so let's scroll down here bear location we're gonna drag it above the chatter whoa look at that I'm gonna save that activation sign as org default both next save and go back whoa that's location look at that what is that where are you Ted somewhere in what is that whoa in, what is this friends so that is in France. Let's go Poping, China probably, right? Poping? No, it's still in where? Where are you, Poping? Where are you? Oh, the same thing. Oh, no, anyways, it's just the same data probably. Okay, so that's that. We've deployed that. So now create the bear supervisor component. Let's do this in the next video. Bada bing, bada boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the salesforce app exchange and do yourself a favor like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom <laughs>